Grandma gets arrested on her 93rd birthday for the most unusual reason. Simone Dumont was enjoying her retirement days in Augusta, Maine. Her current life was calm and, for the most part, rather uneventful. But as soon as Simone turned 93 years old, her world turned upside down. A New England woman was celebrating her 93rd birthday with her family at home when she got interrupted by some uninvited guests. Ruining a birthday party was the least of their worries and it was indeed the scariest day of Simone's life. With Simone's birthday being around the corner, her daughter and was under a lot of pressure. The woman had to do a lot of preparation for her mother's birthday, and she was running out of time. She wanted Simone's day to be perfect, but despite all of the precautions and preparations, the birthday party turned out to be not what Simone expected. And wanted to make her mother's birthday to be perfect and needed to come up with a well-thought-out plan. And soon, the gift was prepared, and the guests were invited. Everything was going according to the plan, or so she thought. Simone, on the other hand, didn't need much to be happy. Dumont's main priority was spending time with family, especially her grandkids. Everything else in her life came secondary. But the day of her birthday changed everything. Simone always made sure to devote enough time to her grandchildren, no matter how busy she was. The best birthday gift for Simone would be celebrating with her loving family. Unfortunately, spending time with the kids was not what Simone ended up doing on her 93rd birthday. What happened on the day of her birthday was beyond her control. Everything was going according to Anne's plan on the day of her mother's birthday. With all of the guests being present at the house, the big birthday party was about to start. However, as Simone later learned, there were a couple of more guests still missing. However, those guests were not on her list. Did her daughter invite more people without talking to her first? When Simone heard a loud knock on her front door, she initially felt confused. Who could it be now? The woman was sure all of the guests were already inside. All of the guests she invited had already arrived, but, of course, she went ahead to open the door for the uninvited visitor as well. When Simone saw who was at her front porch, she was speechless. The uninvited visitors were, in fact, police officers from the Augusta Police Department. The officers told Simone they received a tip and asked her to step outside. The woman couldn't believe her eyes. She was about to get arrested on her birthday in front of all of the guests. But what could she have possibly done? The police officers proceeded to tell Simone she was under arrest. The lady was stunned by what was happening. Why were the officers arresting her on her birthday? And most importantly, for what? Simone was confused, but the officers refused to explain anything on the spot. After a few seconds of shock and disbelief, Simone tried to remain calm. The call on Simone didn't sound too unusual for the Augusta Police Department. The local police officers had a steady reputation for helping out the community in ways other than their regular officer duties. The police officers often collaborated with the local community by dressing up in funny costumes and surprising the kids. However, Simone's situation required a slightly different approach. There weren't any friendly smiles or spooky costumes when the officers arrived at Simone's house. Instead, the birthday girl learned that she was about to be arrested. After learning about her arrest, Simone went ahead and obeyed the police officer's order. The birthday girl was terrified. What was she arrested for? She knew that resisting an officer would only complicate her situation even more. The police officer then escorted Simone to the police car parked next to her house. The woman was waiting to hear the reason for her arrest. And when the police finally told her, Simone was beyond shocked. Who could have called the police on her? And most importantly, for what reason? The police officers gently helped Dumont get in the back seat of the car. Simone didn't know what to expect next as she sat inside the vehicle. For a second, Simone forgot about the reality and felt like an actual participant in the show Cops. But what happened next shocked Simone even more. Luckily for Simone, she had a great view of the police officer's tools while sitting in the car. The handcuffs in the police vehicle caught her eye immediately. The police officers also guided Dumont to the front of the vehicle, where she could see the officer's communication equipment and their computers. What she found out next left her stunned. Overflowing with excitement. The New York Times. Simone was thrilled and didn't hesitate to make a special request for the police to which they gladly agreed. However, she was still a bit confused as to why the police were here in the first place. One big button on the dashboard especially got Simone's attention. 
the woman gently pressed it, resulting in the vehicle's siren going off. And that's when everything finally made sense. However, in addition to spending time with her family, there was one other activity that Simone loved doing. Every evening, Dumont would get cozy in the living room and watch some TV. However, there was one particular genre she loved the most. Crime TV shows were Simone's guilty pleasure. She loved watching America's Most Wanted and Cops. Simone would never miss an episode of her favorite TV shows. And her daughter, Anne, knew that very well. Simone's guilty pleasure helped and come up with a smart plan on how she could make the crime drama feel even more realistic for her mom. And so she prepared the most memorable birthday gift ever. Simone was beyond excited. Her lifetime dream had come true. The birthday girl finally got the chance to explore a police car. And soon, she learned something even more surprising. How many more surprises awaited her? Simone couldn't hide her excitement and made one more request for the police officers. She wished to have a quick chat before they leave. What she told the police was eye-opening. That moment was the perfect opportunity for Simone to make her lifetime wish come true. There was one thing that she wanted to do for a long time. But what was it? The woman finally got the chance to share her touching message with the police. It was something that meant the world for Simone, and she hoped that the police would understand her. The birthday girl told the police officers that she deeply admired their challenging work. And what she shared with the police next was even more touching. The woman felt that the police officers didn't receive enough appreciation for the dangerous, difficult duties they perform every single day. Simone finally felt accomplished after sharing her message. It was something the woman had wanted to say for a long time, but she never got the chance to. Her 93 RD birthday turned out to be a fantastic opportunity to share her thoughts with the officers. The police officers were touched by Simone's message and told her that they had prepared another big surprise for her. What could it be? Simone was excited and nervous at the same time. The woman didn't know what to expect next and prepared herself for the big announcement. The officers wanted to make Simone feel even more special on her big day. After all, it was her 93rd birthday, and so far, all they did was arrest her. The officer's special gift for Simone was a sticker that officially made the birthday girl a junior police officer. Simone couldn't ask for anything more on her 93rd birthday. Not only was she celebrating her birthday with the family, but now Simone was also an official junior police officer. And she owed it to her thoughtful daughter Anne. Anne, on the other hand, was at a loss for words after Simone told her what she thought of the birthday gift idea. She finally made her mother's dream come true. And what Simone told her daughter later, left and speechless. She gave her mother, who had done and seen it all an opportunity to achieve one of her lifetime goals and make her feel extra special on her birthday. A couple of days after her birthday, Simone told her daughter something she will never forget. She said, you made my life. And finally felt accomplished. Though Simone was not the only woman who got arrested on her birthday, Edie Sims from St. Loya's, Missouri, also received some uninvited guests on her big day. Edie Sims was peacefully celebrating her 102nd birthday with her loved ones when the police officers showed up and cuffed her. Edie was shocked as she never broke the law before. There must have been a mistake. The police put the lady in the back seat of their car and drove off. The birthday girl had to leave all of her guests behind and obey the law. But what was Edie Sims' crime? It turns out, Edie Sims had always dreamed about getting arrested. And her strange wish came true on her 102nd birthday. While feeling excited, Edie was also terrified. Was she in real trouble? Luckily for Edie, she wasn't in any real trouble with the law. Being adorable was the only thing she was guilty of that day. In fact, the police wished to repay Edie for the good deed she had been doing for St. Louis Five Star Senior Center for the last few years. Edie had been creating and donating scarves, pillows, and glasses cases to the St. Louis Five Star Senior Center's members for many years. But the lady had only one dream she wished to cross off her bucket list, getting arrested. Luckily, one person was able to make Edie's wish come true on her birthday. One member of the St. Louis Five Star Senior Center had a friend who worked at the local police station. The member asked their friend to help Edie's dream come true. Of course, the police couldn't say no to this adorable woman. And on the day of her birthday, EDI was arrested. She was also taken to the senior center to hang out with the members and play bingo. 
EDI even gave out her homemade socks. When the lady was asked if she enjoyed the experience, she said, oh yeah, handcuffs and all. It seems like someone's greatest fear can be another person's biggest dream. Edie and Simone will always remember the day they could finally cross their biggest wish off their bucket list.